What if your weather forecast was 50% more accurate than it is now? It could be possible with AI. And we're able to predict super well what will happen out to 10 days because of the observations exactly where the buoys are. Scott Beatty is part of a growing field using artificial intelligence to turn massive data sets, winds, wave, pressure, into forecasts you can trust. As we collect more and more observation data, we keep retraining the machine learning models, which keeps improving the accuracy. And what we're noticing over our entire fleet of buoys that our forecasts are 50% more accurate on average than the other forecast models that you might be using on common websites. He's not the only one. AI is now being integrated into weather systems all over the world. So how does it work? Traditional weather forecasts start with millions of data points about the current state of the atmosphere. These get fed into a supercomputer that calculates how the atmosphere will evolve over time. AI works differently. It's trained on decades of real world weather. It doesn't simulate, it recognizes. Like, okay, this pressure system with this humidity, oh, that equals a thunderstorm in Toronto. It sees the patterns, makes a match, and predicts what's most likely to happen next, often faster and more local. If you can picture yourself at the mouth of a fjord or somewhere where there's a localized weather effect, for example, fjords have wind tunnel effects where the weather rushes through there, that's often unforecasted, but the observation data picks that up. And so we're combining the observation data with our machine learning model, and it captures all of that and then provides that in the forecast. So why isn't everyone using AI forecasting yet? Because the AI still needs something to learn from. That's why many experts and myself believe AI won't replace traditional forecasts, it will just supercharge them.